Now, Daesh in Iraq has turned to modern forms of birth control to carry out what it claims is a tradition of sex slavery for captive women. A report in the New York Times highlights how the militants use contraception in their campaign of rape. Daesh captured areas uh, of Iraq populated by the Yazidi minority in 2014 and hundreds of women have been taken captive. Well, let's speak now to Heather uh, Baharaman from uh, Yazda. That's an organization serving the Yazidi community in Iraq. Thank you very much uh, for your time. First things first, how did your organization become aware that uh, Daesh was pushing birth control on uh, women that it was holding captive? Well, when we take the testimony of survivors, we hear many stories. This is just one type of abuse that we've encountered. We've known for some time that ISIS is using or forcing women to use birth control, but this is just one form of um, suffer way the ways they suffer. Uh, for example, the suing rape is worse, the torture, the beatings. So what can be done to stop this? What is your organization doing? Well, my organization, where my program specifically, we're working with the returnees, the women who have escaped Daesh. Other parts of our organization are working on genocide documentation and documentation of the mass graves to bring, uh, to highlight this issue and bring more attention to this issue. Can you just uh, put this into context for us? I mean, how barbaric Daesh are, some of the stories that you've heard uh, firsthand. Oh. We've heard some very gruesome stories, stories of families, of mothers with their children being forced to watch um, decapitations, forced to being uh, forced to watching uh, torture of a one-year-old child. These are extremely barbaric individuals um, committing heinous crimes uh, across the board. So if uh, some of these captives, these Yazidi women, uh, do give birth to children from ISIS fighters, from Daesh fighters, what happens to them? Well, we've known of cases of women that could be rescued who have chosen to actually remain in ISIS captivity um, because they feel that their children wouldn't be accepted back into the community. So some of these women, they face a very difficult choice, uh, freedom while leaving their children behind or staying in ISIS enslavement. So do Daesh accept the children as well? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that. Okay, uh, Heather, thank you very much for your time. Heather Barahman there uh, from Yazda, an organization serving the Yazidi community in Iraq. Thank you for your time.